As we make our way down the Barry Way, the road becomes a little more adventurous. And the Snowy River is beginning to pick up momentum. Clive Richards Farm Snowy River Pistachios is just ahead. Just near Sorgen Borgen, a hamlet famous for a small schoolhouse built in the 1800s. Clive Richards, who has a close affinity with the schoolhouse. I actually spent my first year in Sogenburg living in that tiny schoolhouse while the, the main house was being built and all I can remember is the cold and having a bath outside in the frost and running inside to stand in front of the big fire. After some time away from Sogenburg, Clive had the idea to come home and start a pistachio orchard. Uh, about 1980, and I got the first seed in 1982 and uh, had first some seedling rootstocks and attempted grafting uh, in 1984. So there was a, a slow start, but I took about 10 years before I got any crop of much consequence. The fires that swept through the East Gippsland Highland a few years back nearly destroyed Clive's dreams and his life. The fires destroyed the whole orchard. Screaming wind, hot northwesterly wind. The fire front was 15 kilometres from here, and burning leaves arrived on the wind, and we could see fires coming all over the place, and we were putting them out. We put three fires out, and uh, one down near the orchard, and one just up. Uh, on the way out and we were on the third one and from that point we could see every ridge there was at least six fires started that you could see at that stage we bailed out and it was pretty disheartening to see everything gone but yes it was a slow process and just sit and wait and see what came back and uh, some things came back some things weren't burnt badly yeah. This is wild, tough country. So why would Clive want to stay? It's such an interesting place. And you can go and do anything you want here. Um, travel around the tracks and then I'm really interested in plants and there's just so much here. It's a disjunct of there's plants from the Mallee here, remnants of them. 